everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial from Warhammer Underworlds. Yes, we are back with Min Wintermore again. This is the second half of the box and we have the Brethren of the Bolt. Yes, we have a man in a trench coat. Well, two men in a trench coat, I should say. Uh, <laughs> they're really cool. They're really very characterful. They're a wonderful little war band. Probably for the cities of Sigma. They're really nice models. Really nice models. So, a little bit of admin here. Firstly, they've all been primed in grace here. And the second bit of admin is that we're going to have to paint these one by one. There's not a lot of kind of consistent colours. There are some that are consistent, like all the metallics, for example. But it is just going to be a little bit easier, a little bit more managed to be able to just go one by one by one by one by one. Not necessarily in that order. We'll do it as I kind of figure it out <laughs> but um yes we're going to be painting them a model at a time we'll get them all up to war hipster battle ready we'll then give it all a good shading well get all the base coats give it all a good shading then we're at war hipster battle ready and then we'll highlight anything that is kind of similar uh together as it were so we're going to grab our paints we're going to grab our brushes and then we'll be right back so see you in just a sec so i think it would be rude not to start with pater Phileas this guy the headline so we're going to start with him now the color we're going to be using first is black legion and we're going to be applying this over the top of the outside of his coat and we're just going to avoid the trim With all that Black Legion applied, we're then going to take some shyish purple. And we're going to apply this to this kind of skirt. With that shyish purple all applied, we're then going to take two layers of Gore Grunter fur and apply this over the top of the belt. Waiting for the first coat of Gorgon to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take Flesh Tear as red and we're going to apply this over the top of the trim of the coat. Next up, we're going to take some Fire Slayer Flash and we're going to apply this over the top of our, well, I'm guessing it's Paterphilius, but uh, I guess the mount. We're going to apply it over the top of his skin.
with that fire slayer flesh applied. We're then going to take skeleton horde and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the bandages as well as any parchment. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Cygore Brown. I'm going to apply this over the top of the rider's flesh. So he's got his toes just here, his hands. And like his elbows and stuff like that. Just little bits of flesh poking out here and there. You can see just in there. With that done, I've just added some skeleton horde over the top of this skull just here as well. I forgot to do it earlier. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take wild wood and we're going to apply this over the top of the wood of his weapon. So with that now done, we're going to take some thinned down iron warriors. And we're going to apply this over top of all the remaining details, excluding the hair and the wax seals. Well, to be honest, they don't look like wax seals. Scratch that. We're just going to be applying this over everything, excluding the hair. And there is going to be another metallic, but the iron wires will act as a really nice base coat for it. So with all that iron warriors applied and now drying, what we're then going to do is take some thinned down retributor armor. I'm going to use this over top of areas such as the little medallions. We've got these lightning bolts down here on the weapon like that we've got the kind of trim and lightning bolts up here lightning bolts over here and of course the large lightning bolts around here as well as any other details you want to be gold With that Retributor armor applied, we've got all of our base coats on, so it's time to add some shades. And the first of these is going to be some Null Oil. I'm going to be using this over, well, most of him. So, firstly, we're going to use this over the top of his hair, or this guy's hair. We're going to be using this to shade all the silver as well. Like that sort of thing. And we're going to use this over top of the flesh terror's red 
hand over the top of the black. As well as the shyish purple. With all that null oil applied, we're then going to take Reichland Flesh Shade and we're going to use this to shade all the gold. Like so. What we're also going to do is we're going to apply this over top of the rider's flesh, so the hands and the feet. And I'm going to apply it over the mount. As well. So with that right and flesh shade applied, this one is now what I call a war hipster battle ready. So I'm going to pop him to one side. I'm going to work on someone slightly easier now. I'm going to go for this individual just here. So the color we're going to be using first for him is Black Legion. I'm going to be applying this over top of his robe. Both the lower parts and the upper parts. With all that Black Legion applied, we're then going to take some Skeleton Horde. We're going to apply this over top of all the bandages and parchment. See, there are some similarities, but... You just don't want the takes to be too long, you see. With all of that done, we're then going to take Fire Slayer Flesh once more. I'm going to apply this over top of his skin. With that then done, we're going to take some wild wood and we're going to apply this over the top of the wood, the sandals and the rope. So with that done, once again, we're going to take some thinned down iron warriors. I'm going to apply this over top of all the remaining details. So with that then done, we take some thinned down Retributor armor and we apply this over the top of the lightning bolts at the top here. And then we're going to shade it exactly the same as we did before with some Null Oil. And 
and some right clean flesh shade. So that's another one down. So we're going to move on to this one, just here. This lovely individual. So, colour we're going to be using first for her is Rattling Grime. And we're going to be applying this over the top of her robe. So from here on out, you'll be shocked to know everything's the same. So we're going to be taking some skeleton hoard and applying this over top of all the bandages. And the parchment. Next up, we're going to take Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over the top of the hair. Next up. We're going to once again take Fire Slayer Flesh. I'm going to apply this over the top of all the skin. Next up, we then once again take some Wildwood. And we apply this over the top of the rope, the wood, and the sandals. So with that done, you know the drill by now. What we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron warriors and we're going to apply this over top of all of the remaining details. And then we're going to use some retributor armor over the top of any lightning bolts. And then we're going to shade it with null oil and right clean flesh shade. But in the interest of saving you time, we're not going to film it. So we'll see you in just a second with the battle ready, whoever this is. So with three down, hopefully we can work on these two pretty much side by side. There's not too much that's going to be different here. However, they do have the same colored clothes, excluding this guy's tabard. So the color of the clothes is going to be some Space Wolves Grey. And we're going to be applying this over the top of, as mentioned, the clothes here and on the other gentleman. As I already mentioned, not over the top. Of the tabard. With that Space Wolves Grey applied, we then shade it with some Drakenhof Nightshade.
So with that Drakenhof Nightshade applied, we're then going to take Black Legion. And we're going to apply this over the top of the tabard on the other guy, but we're also going to apply this over the top of these large leather straps on this individual. And on this guy, we're also going to apply this over top of his parchment. So, quick progress update. There we are. That's what they look like. So, what we're going to do next is we are going to do the familiar colours now that you've all come to expect from this video. So, the colour we're going to be using next is Skeleton Horde. We're going to be applying this over top of all of the bandages and the parchment on the other guy. Next up, I'm going to take some Saigor Brown and we're going to apply this over the top of this gentleman's skin. Just picking a place to start. Start just here. And with that done, we then take Fire Slayer Flash. And we apply this over the top of this guy's face. Well, skin. It's not just his face. And then once again, we're going to use wild wood for all the rope, wood, sandals. And so with that then done, we take Rattling Grime and we're going to apply this over the top of the beard and the hair. So 
So with that done, it is now time to do the metallics. And it's exactly the same as we've done so far. Iron Warriors over across everything. And then we use Retributor Armor to just pick out any bits that you want to be gold, like medallions, lightning bolts, and things like that. And then, of course, we're going to shade it in exactly the same way as well. So as you can see, our brethren of the bolt are now at what I would call a war hipster battle ready all the way across. You can see all the kind of specific details that needed to be picked out. And as mentioned, there were a lot of very similar ones, but that's all okay. So what we are going to do now is move on to all the highlights. And we're basically going to focus on our middle one, Paterphilius, again. Uh, and we'll do all of them at the same time across each of the models. But if there's something specific, like the sort of bluer clothes over here on the left or the rattling grime over here on the right we shall then hop across to those just to figure those ones out so we're back in just a sec with our paints and brushes so the place we're going to start is on all of the black details so we're going to be focusing on this cloak here but of course we do have clothes on the other ones so the color we're going to be using to highlight these first is some thin down dawnstone i'm going to be using this just to pick out all of the kind of edges and folds in all those details. With that Dawnstone applied to all of the Black Legion details, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Administratum Grey. I'm going to use this to add a little spot highlight to the Black Legion details. So we've got the hair on this individual. Just going to add a little bit of it to the tips. Like that sort of thing. However, the reason we've already switched over to another model is we're going to use the administratum gray to highlight any rattling grime details so this is going to be her clothes but also that hair and beard on the other two that we did the rattling grime over the hair and beard for So with that administratum grey all applied, we're now going to move on to the next colour, which is going to be some thinned down Wazdaka red. I'm going to use this to highlight the trim. On this guy. So next up, we're going to tackle probably the biggest area on these guys, which is going to be all of the bandages. And the color we're going to be using to highlight them all is some thinned down pallid witch flesh. So with that all done, next up we're going to take some thinned down slanesh grey and we're going to use this to highlight the purple skirt. With that slanesh grey applied, what we're then going to do is work on another one that is going to be across all of our miniatures, which is all the wood. And the colour we're going to be using to highlight that is some thinned down Karak stone.
So with all the wood now highlighted, we're then going to take some thinned down Fenrisian grey. I'm going to use this to highlight our blue fabric. So with that now done, it's time to move on to the flesh. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take some thinned down Night Quester flesh. We're going to use this to highlight this guy and Paterphilius. We're going to use this for his, well, for the darker flesh. And with that Night Quester flesh applied, we're then going to take some thin down flayed one flesh. I'm going to use this for all the remaining skin across all of our models. So everywhere that was painted with fire snare flesh. So with all that flayed one flesh applied, we're then going to take some black legion. Not very much of this at all. I'm going to apply this over the top of the eyeballs. So with that Black Legion applied, we then want to take a teeny tiny little dot of Screaming Skull. We want to apply this in the corners of the eye and highlight any teeth. So with all the eyes now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down iron breaker. I'm going to use this to highlight all the silver. And so finally, just to wrap things up nicely, well, for the painting of the models that is, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down Liberator Gold. I'm going to use this to highlight the gold. So with that Liberator Gold highlight applied, our Brethren of the Bolt are now all finished. I think they look pretty fantastic. I'm really pleased with them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to quickly work on the bases. And well, the colour we're going to be using first is Black Templar. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the stone. So we've got a nice big bit just here. So 
So with that all done, we're then going to take some Saigal Brown. We're going to apply this over top of the dirt. So with that all done, we're then going to take a roughly three parts Celestium Blue to one part Hard Coat Mix. And we're going to apply this over the top of this kind of water area down here. I'm going to do this twice. So with that done, you should have this slightly shiny looking kind of water puddle. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two paints. We're going to take Lamium Medium and Pterodon Turquoise. And firstly, we're going to take the Lamium Medium and we're going to apply this in the groove, as it were, like that. And then we're going to wash the brush and grab a little bit of Pterodon Turquoise. And then we're just going to drop it in and move it around. Like that. And finally, we're going to give the stone and the dirt a dry brush of Tyrant Skull across all of our models. With their bases complete, the Brethren of the Bolt are now done. And that's the second part of our Wintermore coverage all complete. So now I'm ready to try out some games, which I might try and force Alice to do with me. <laughs> um, so Underworlds is really fun, and I haven't played it in a very long time, and I'm really eager to see how it's changed. And this set is very, very cool. Really lovely little models. Excellent stuff. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.